All right, so for this video, you are going to need the notes page that you should have picked up in class. You're going to need a calculator, and you're going to need your periodic table in order to do these things. Also, you'll probably want your flow chart for nomenclatures because we're going to have to write some formulas for some of the compounds. All right, so this says, that as we learned in Unit 3, we didn't really, so we're just going to rephrase this. The molar mass is the mass in grams of a substance that contains one mole of particles. So we can talk about this in terms of atoms or we can talk about it in terms of compounds. For molar mass of an atom, it's just the mass off the periodic table. So if I'm looking for molar mass for any of these elements, this average atomic mass that we learned how to calculate way back in Unit 3, that number, that is the average or the molar mass for that element. It's the mass you have in one mole. So in one mole of argon, there's 39.948 grams of argon. Okay? Now, when we are talking about compounds, we have to add everything from the compound together. So the very first thing you're going to need is the correct formula. So for example, one, they've told us to calculate the molar mass of calcium acetate. Okay? So before I can do that, I'm going to have to write the correct formula for calcium acetate. So we're going to go back to our flow chart. Is the first element a metal? Yes. Is there a Roman numeral? No. So we get the charge of the metal off the periodic table. Calcium is a group 2 metal, so it is going to have a charge of 2 plus. And we're going to put a little CA on it. Okay? And then acetate, A-T-E, tells us it's a polyatomic. So you're going to need your polyatomic chart as well. So if you grab that and look on it, you'll find that acetate is C2. H3O2, and it comes with a 1 minus charge. So then we would crisscross our charges. The 2 from calcium goes over here. The 1 from acetate disappears because we don't write 1s. So that's step 1, is to make sure you have the correct formula. Step 2 is to count all the atoms that you have in here. So for calcium, I have 1. For carbon, I have 2 inside the parentheses times the 2 outside the parentheses, so that's a total of 4. For hydrogen, I have 3 inside the parentheses times 2 is a total of 6. And then for oxygen, I have 2 inside the parentheses times the 2 on the outside of the parentheses is 4 total oxygens. So I'm going to clear a little space so that I've got room to do this. So what we need next is to go to our periodic table and look up the masses of each of these elements. So calcium is 40.078. Carbon, over here, 12.011. Hydrogen, up here, 1.008. And then oxygen, 15.999. All right, so to calculate my molar mass, I am going to multiply each mass times the number of atoms, and then I'm going to add them together. Okay? And I can do this in one little step in my calculator. So I have 1 times 40.078 plus 4 times 12.011 plus 6 times 1.008 plus 4 times 15.999. Enter. That gets me a total mass of 158.166, and that is grams per mole of CaC2H3. I'm out of room. Put the, put the formula on there. <laughs> I'm out of room. All right. Now, very important with molar mass, we never round it. We're going to use all the digits that we got off the periodic table, and whatever our answer will be, will be. 
Okay, so this is one thing that we don't round to sig figs because it's considered infinitely significant. All right, so let's try another one. This next one, example two, asks us to calculate the molar mass of ammonium phosphate. Now, we have to start by getting the correct formula for ammonium phosphate. Ammonium, if you remember, is that weirdo from the periodic table, or sorry, from your uh, polyatomic ions chart. It's NH4, and it has a 1 plus charge. Phosphate, A-T-E, that means we're talking about the polyatomic ion. So if you look on your polyatomic ions chart, phosphate is PO4, and it bears a 3 minus charge. So when we crisscross that, the 1 from ammonium doesn't do anything because we don't write 1s. The 3 from phosphate goes on the NH4. Okay. So now we make a list of everything we have. For nitrogen, there is 1 inside the parentheses times the 3 on the outside, so that's a total of 3. For hydrogen, there are 4 inside times the 3 outside, that's going to be 12 total hydrogens. Phosphate is 1 inside the parentheses, there's nothing outside the parentheses, so it's still 1. And then oxygen is 4 inside the parentheses and nothing outside the parentheses, so it's going to stay 4. The next thing we shall do is to look up our masses. So, nitrogen is 14.007, hydrogen 1.008, phosphorus 30.974, And then oxygen, 15.999. Okay? So we are going to multiply each number by the number of atoms and then add this all together. We can do it in one step in our calculator. So we're going to do 3 times 14.007 plus 12 times 1.008 plus 1 times 30.974 plus 4 times 15.999. And that gets us a total mass for ammonium phosphate of 149.087. And that is grams per mole of NH43PO4. All right, that's really all there is to it, folks. So the rest of time, you need to, to finish the other... Um, problems on this and be ready for a quiz.